Hi YouTube, this is Empress Jack Rabbit. We're going to look at an eight personal year. Everyone has their own personal year. How do you find out yours? Add together your uh, birth month plus the day you were born on plus the number nine, which is our universal year for 2016. So my birthday is June 1st, so that would be a six plus one equals seven, seven plus nine equals 16, 1 plus 6 equals 7. Get that universal year down to a single digit. Our numbers um, go in numerology from 1 to 9. It, it can be 0 too, but nobody's going to have a 0 birthday. So 1 to 9. So let's look at that number 7 year. Uh, excuse me, a number 8 year. We looked at number 7 um, last time. So our one we're going to look at now is a number 8 year writing down so I can remember my year. Hold on a second, guys. A number eight year, you're back in action. Remember that number seven year where you had to lay low and not a lot was going on? It didn't mean that your life was coming to some kind of financial crisis and it didn't mean that your relationships were done. It just meant that there was a certain kind of peace um, around everything that you did and that it was time for you to Reflect on you, prayer, meditation, journaling, gratitude. Number eight year, because you did that number seven uh, year work, is a booming year. This is the year where you get that money. The money starts coming in, but only if you have worked those last seven years before that in a way that I suggested or better. Um, then you find that you will be paid. You'll get that big job you wanted. You'll make that kind of money you wanted to make. This is a year where you could be a common girl and you could get with or marry a rich man or you could be a common guy and get with and marry a rich woman or if not rich, very well off. And they will treat you with the utmost kindness and respect. This is a great year to marry. Um, be careful though, those people that often have more than you often want to control you. So if you're okay with that, because you know that out of that you're going to get security, then do your thing. Um, like I said, in order for you to have the payoff this year, this is the last year that you can get a payoff. You will have had to gone through and did it right those other years. Um, this year, uh, once again, watch that tongue because you are going to be the boss. <laughs> I mean the boss. Not a supervisor or something like that. You're going to be the manager, director, what have you. You have the potential to do that. You may be out of college and that dream job that you wanted, that you thought was out of reach, it falls right in your lap. And when things fall in your lap and they come together, they were meant to be. And that's the year that you're going to have. You're going to be quite successful. Don't be surprised if you find yourself buying things. A home, a car, a condo. Apartment, anything like that is possible with that year. Take care of yourself. Be good to yourself. Dress the part. If you feel like you're important, you feel like you're worthy, then show it on the outside. Because people will only see it on the outside until you're prepared to show it on the inside. So the outside's a good way to start. But everything comes to you quickly, easily, a lot of major decisions. Handle your own personal finances as if it were a business so that you could have and be able to do or make the changes that you need to make. Good luck in that number eight year. You are the executive. You are that Wall Street person. You are the boss and you are making all the calls and the shots in your life. And um, Take suggestion and advice from others, but know that ultimately we are all on our own path and you're on that one. Good luck to you in that prosperous number eight year.